What's going on, my people? If you happen to own one of these uh, Volkswagen MK5, so Jetta, GTI, whatever the model is, if you've been looking for the air conditioning expansion valve and you cannot find it, if you like me, you know, I've been looking through a lot of internet threads and I couldn't find it. No, so a lot of people were seeing that it was behind the dash, that you need to remove the dash. Well, I took a chance today and I took my uh, my intake pipe away because I seen a little plate which I'm about to show you. Well, behind this little plate right here, right now, you know, my intake pipe is missing, right? So right here is down there you got your turbo. Make sure you put some kind of rack or something, you know, right there in the turbo. You don't want any kind of stuff going down in there and messing it up. But anyway, right behind this plate right here you got the uh, air conditioning expansion valve so you're gonna have to remove two clips like this one is right there over here on this part right here with some pliers or with a flathead screwdriver you got one right there and then you have another one down here as you can see another one right there and then you're gonna have behind this the uh this line right here from the air conditioning the low pressure pipe you're gonna have right back there a 10 millimeters nut that you that you're gonna have to remove i already loosened it up as you can see you know i'm taking it out by uh with my fingers make sure you don't drop it uh, catch it make sure it's safe and as you can see all you have to do is undo this little hose right here some kind of sensor i'm not sure what it is but once you have once you have removed that plate right there well guys surprise that's your uh expansion your air conditioning expansion valve uh, reason for this video is because i've been trying to fix my air conditioning myself and i can't you know i haven't have any luck at all i already replaced the compressor which wasn't bad the first thing that changed was that the the actuator or the solenoid that is attached to the compressor I ordered one online and it didn't fix it anyway so I went ahead and replaced the compressor and it didn't do anything so my next step is going to be that uh, expansion valve I was told that it could be my expansion valve as well as my uh, the dryer or the evaporator when I'm going I'm out I'm going to the internet and look it up so once I have replaced those parts guys I'm going to be making a video and um uh, I'm going to keep you updated. What's going on my people? Today we are going to be working on uh, replacing the AC expansion valve on this MK5 Volkswagen Jetta. So the first thing we got to do is remove the throttle pipe, rather the intake pipe. Because uh, it's kind of on the way, so you know the expansion valve is back there. So we're going to go ahead and proceed to moving. So once you have removed the uh, intake pipe, then you had to remove that uh, silver plate right there and you're going to do that by removing a clip that is over here uh, on the back you can see right there you prime it off with the flathead screwdriver and after you remove that clip then you're going to have behind this pipe right here on the back you're going to find a 10 millimeters nut that you had to remove as well and then it's going to be another clip down here where my fingers pointed at uh, you remove that clip as well and that plate should be able to it's not gonna you won't be able to you know remove it completely but you can kind of move it over to the side so after you have loosened up those uh those clips and the 10 millimeters nut then you'll be able to spot you know the pcb i mean uh, uh the ac expansion back, back there in the back what's gonna give you no advice uh don't forget to put some rag or something down in there because you got it, you know, your turbo over there and you wouldn't like to have any kind of object falling down in there and that would be a catastrophic mess. You're going to need a T-Torx 45 to remove the two bolts that are holding up the lines in there. can barely see them though, but right inside the, right there, then to right inside the low pressure or high pressure lines you're gonna have to remove those two bolts don't forget to uh to empty out your ic 
system because uh, remember your air conditioning system is pressurized so you're gonna have to empty it out first the proper way so and after you have re removed those uh, T -torx 40 T -torx 45 you know out of the way then you're gonna have to remove the little ones that are down in there too as well they're gonna be uh, and the one I got I was able to fit in there is a uh, T532 so once you have removed those two bolts, uh, just go ahead and uh, remove your expansion valve. You shouldn't have any problems at all, you know, trying to remove it. Just get a hold to it any way you can and just pull it out. You can see this is the old one right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace it. I already got my new one. Don't forget that you have, you're going to have to replace the old rings as well. So um, fortunately my new expansion valve came with the o-rings so just go ahead you know remove the o-rings from the pipes and make sure that you choose the right one that you know to replace the ones you're taking out see all the uh the o-rings should be different so this right here is from the ghost bit it goes behind the expansion valve into uh, my low pressure uh, line for, to the heater coil. So, as you can see, this one right here matches that one. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and get the green one and put it on place. Uh, and I'm going to keep on doing so, you know, to like use all of them for. And don't forget that you need to lubricate these things. Once you have put the new O-rings into the uh, low and high pressure lines, just go ahead and you know, put your new uh, expansion bar back in there and just tighten up them uh, bolts, just like the way you took them out. Guys, when you tighten down them bolts, uh, don't forget to tighten them, you know, uh, gradually. Um, what I mean by this, I mean, you know, do one side a little bit and then jump over to the other side a little bit. And keep on on because you don't want to uh, tighten up one side all the way down and uh, you chances you might have a leak there uh, when you tighten down you have to, you need to make sure that you going down even on both so why you once you have tightened down the uh, expansion valve in place uh, don't forget to replace your rings on this line as well and uh, it's gonna be the same procedure you had to uh, lubricate them a little bit